Hi beautiful people, my name is Rob. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're going to talk about three qualities that can get you promoted quickly. Being a manager, you're, you're supposed to be able to transfer the knowledge um, that you've learned. But what are those qualities for your superiors or for your leaders to see you um, as a right fit for being able to manage a team or handling um, or handling um, a small division. The first one that we're going to talk about is candor. Now, candor was popularized in the book Winning by Jack Welsh. Now, if you're going to search what candor means, it just simply means that you as a, as a person or exhibit a trait of being frank or being open and candid with providing feedback. Leaders need to be able to provide good constructive feedback to be able to change behaviors. So a good example of providing constructive, constructive and successful feedback is, for example, in a basketball game. If you have a personnel who's not very good at tuning from, from the outside and who is better at driving the ball to the basket, you don't go out there and say, hey, you suck at three-pointers or you suck at sh shooting jump shots. Why don't you just take it to, to, to the basket? The, the better way of saying it or the best way of saying it is, hey, you know what? You're more effective driving to the basket. We get more points when you drive the ball to the hole. The trick is with candor is that when you're in a room, when you're in a group discussion or when there is an opportunity to, pro to provide feedback, you need to be able to at least give it. So the second trait that I'd wish for you to learn and practice would be grit. Grit is also popularized in the book by Angela Duckworth. Um, this is a great book. It talks about and breaks down how grit is formed at an early age and how is grit measured. When you're having difficulties and when you're not getting the scores that you'd love in your work, how well are you able to take feedback and work on those feedback, change your behavior towards success? Grit is how much are you able to hold that energy and endure those challenges to be able to make it through. Now this is very important if you'd love to lead someday because now you're not just responsible for your own performance but a performance of two three four five people maybe more than ten people all at the same time and normally when things are not going so very well you know leaders look to the person who's re responsible for that particular group at, at the early stages of your career do practice um, being able to take feedback opening your ears being open you know, to, to what your peers and to what your leaders say. Take that, endure, make the adjustments, and move towards your success. The third quality that we need to be able to practice and learn is ownership. So from, from all of these, we need to be able to own our mistakes. And at the same time, when you own your mistakes and shortcomings, you will own your success. Another word for ownership is accountability. Now, let me give you an example. The best example is really just being tardy. Very practical example. We do have different ways of getting to work, um, but what the usual and everyday challenge of a personnel is being on time for work. And when we're not on time, usually what we do is make excuses. We try to blame uh, things or the situations to, to other people or external other than ourselves. Um, ownership really means is that find the things that you are able to control so that that instance will not happen again when being tardy instead of thinking external factors that you're unable to control look at the things that you are able um, to do set an earlier alarm time check the weather forecast or plan how you're going to book your transportation for the next day what the idea is for us to be able to be accountable for our actions make the adjustments and make it better now if you really feel that you're ready and you are already the best at what you're currently doing and maybe it's time for you to take the next ladder up now you'd love to earn more now you'd love to be in a position to influence others take time to practice candor take time to to improve your grit and of course look at the things that you can be accountable for 
and improve on in yourself. So there you have it. Those are the three things that will definitely improve your character, that will definitely put you through the next level and put you under radar in terms of trying to get that promotion. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Rob. I hope you enjoy the video. Like, share, and subscribe. See you on the next video.